hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey i'm shake i do vlogs lifestyle beauty videos so if you're interested go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell so you're notified every time i make a video <laughs> all right guys so you see from the title we are going to smoke house in is it saint or i don't know it'll be in the title <laughs> and in the description down below so i'm now ready i'm pretty much home alone right now um there are a set of persons that are going um with me to start the church because it's a church trip it's our young adult church trip so yeah you guys might see some faces you don't know um because i don't normally like vlog everybody but anyways you might see some faces you don't know some faces you know my sister toby and yeah so we're gonna we're supposed to leave at two it is now i think 1 30. so i was at a meeting and then i finished the meeting i got ready i'm gonna show you guys in a few what i'm wearing no, no, no. anyways so this is the hair though give me a sec all right so this is the hair i actually just set up my hair last night and then just pull it out this morning and fix it like this so that's the hair do for today and i just like in this one here so so it look kind of different i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but yes let us go and show you let me go and show you guys my outfit my ootd all right guys so this is the outfit um i'll take a picture and i like, put it on the side or whatever of the full thing or probably it will be on the thumbnail but anyways this pants i think you guys already know i've worn it like multiple times um don't know where it's from or whatever and then the top is from shein ah, this is one of my shein tops which i mean if you have not yet watched the sheen haul y'all should go and watch it i'll link it in the description as well as in the card somewhere i don't know which side but yeah and then i'm wearing it with some slippers and then we have my jewelry yeah so that's the fit I'm gonna take my picture now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hi. 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 <laughs> hey, yes. Hi. Then done. More stocks will be coming soon. <laughs>
all right guys so i'm back home I'm kind of whispering because my dad is asleep all right so i'm back home um so the experience at smokehouse i must say the ambiance is great it's a beautiful place as you guys will see well as you guys saw in the pictures that we took it's beautiful but food is kind of you know kind of okay it's not bad not gonna lie it's not bad but the service is what it, that's my problem there the service is my problem all right so pretty much we got there we called first and we asked do we need to make reservations they said like no just come all right so we went there and when we got there and went to the plate went up to the waiters and asked them like who is it we call them waiters i don't remember we'll go to the front desk or whatever and we'll ask them um for seating they're gonna ask us did you make reservations so like no we called and said you know whatever and you guys said no we don't need reservations anyways placid pack apparently because it's friday and it's the start of summer apparently for most persons so everybody wants to go out and plus you know curfew lift and people can go party and all of that so people are excited to go out so um we waited there for like 10 minutes then like wait wait she came one of the persons came to us and they said the only place that we have that can fit like all you guys it's under a tent that's like on the grass area and we said fine you know we're not gonna go back home and not eat so let's just go sorry right. they fixed up the place where they for like 10 minutes and then they came for us and then we were seated then they came took our orders and it takes time to get the food not gonna lie it takes quite some time to get the food so they carried the appetizers first and then the food now the food is where i add my my issue the main meal so i ordered I think it's shrimp and steak and shrimp with mac and cheese and the side order of fries with dirty banana right um when my food came i got the shrimp and steak the steak wasn't how i, I thought it would be i thought it would be like a full steak but it was in like strips or whatever that is and i got it with mashed potatoes never really met that bad at me but apparently i was supposed to actually get it i may never get it anyways because somebody else that ordered the same thing say that they got theirs i didn't get mine but i never met that bad at me anyways so i got that and when i remember i remember that i ordered fries so i'm like i called the waiter like about five minutes or ten minutes after because in there's a lot of us and apparently it's him alone serving us so it takes him some time apparently i don't know because i don't know why they don't give him some help you got like 16 17 people at one table like why is he the only one serving the table anyways so i asked him remember i'm supposed to get a fries and i'm like yeah no problem right yeah remember then he left for like pretty much half an hour to 45 minutes there about it was quite a while because i think by the time he got back my food was finished um so he came back with the drinks i know when i look my drinks wasn't there so he asked me what did you order again i'm like a dirty banana and please remember the fries he's like okay all right cool guys mind you this was like the place was light up at that moment by the time i got my juice um it was dark and this was like more than half an hour after i ate and i'm like how do you serve like that like you have somebody here to dine and me eat my food and digest it a long time before me i was about to cancel the juice right as in comedies because the reason it wasn't cancelled before is because i didn't see him like you're not seeing them until they carry the food come which is why it never cancel and bear you the fries never reach it it never reach it 
it reached like after that after me done the juice yeah so after i finished the juice or, or while i was finishing the juice the fries came and i had took a box because i'm like i'm not gonna eat this right now so i'm just putting it in the box to carry and then came the bill the bill people the bill <laughs> i tell you these people know how to do things you see they just thief people money they put it in fine fine writing and i wouldn't have had a problem with paying this because it's food right me love food i'm gonna eat it in two days right so my food came up to like four thousand something plus like one seven hundred at the dollar gct because apparently the gct is 15 percent of what you order yeah that i'm fine with the issue i had was the service charge and apparently they put a 10 percent service charge on whatever you order which i think is stupid like hmm, isn't it that when you go to a restaurant people are supposed to give you the tip they want to give you no guys on a sweat go 10 percent service charge man each it's on each of us one so on mine my service charge ended up being like 420 dollars which i think mine was the most because in claims of mine my meal was the most expensive which i don't see why i ordered um the same thing as what's your name as one of well, somebody else um the only thing i think i ordered different was the dirty banana anyways that was fine i'm like you know it's over with i'm just upset of that one thing and that's the service charge because their service is not that good for them to charge money especially so much what i money they're paid to make my meal already i'm paying for the meal plus them preparing the meal because the amount of food that they give you it no work the amount of money i am pay for it so it means that me i pay you to make the meal so my service charge is supposed to be so much like why but anyways uh we had a great time just going out and just being together so just thank god for the opportunity and that i got to have fun but yes that was my experience at what's its name smokehouse yeah so i think it's kind of overrated angalai because of the service the place uh, is very beautiful as you guys saw in the video it's very nice very beautiful but i just think it's over it's overrated not gonna lie but anyways go for yourself probably today was just an off day for them they're not used to the crowd anymore because corona just, you know they're not used to the crowd so today was just an off day for them so just go and experience for yourself <laughs> but anyways guys thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed my little rant at the end um if you enjoyed go ahead and hit the like button comment something down below subscribe click the bell so you're notified every time i make a video and i'll see you guys next time bye